All right, in today's feature release, um, we're going to be talking about setting margins and paddings in your elements when you're building out your funnels and websites. All right, for that, we're going to go right to my screen and let's take a look. All right, so with this new feature, we now have the ability to set paddings and margin settings uh, in desktop as well as mobile view. Now, we're on a, uh, a page, a funnels uh, page, and what we're going to do is, uh, for demo purposes, we're going to go and select this element. And so here, as you can see, his margin and pad padding right here. And it also has left margin, right margin, um, and then we have top right as well as paddings for uh, this specific uh, element right here. And so uh, with this new feature, we now have the ability, if you wanted to set a margin here, let's just say for 40, right? And as you can see, that's the margin. Uh, when you set that margin to 40, uh, and when you go over to the mobile view, it actually transfers over. Now, one thing to make note of is that when you make any changes to within the mobile view, let's just say we changed the padding uh, to, uh, let's say, the, uh, the right padding here. Let's say we change it to 60, right? Let's just make it 40. Um, that does not transfer over to the desktop, as you can see here. So when you make a change in the desktop, it transfers over, whereas uh, the other way around, it does not. So let's just go and go back and, and change that to zero the way it was. And so what this does is it gives you an ability to make the layout of your design uh, much, um, you have much control, you have control over it so that it, it, it look, you can make it look better ultimately. And let's go change this to zero as well. And just uh, as a side note, you now have the ability to make, um, if, if you did choose to do so, make the margins negative, right? So if you can, uh, if you want to set it to, let's say, negative 20. Um, oops, doesn't do it over here. So then let's just say negative, let's say 25, right? And then let's go look at the desktop view, right? And as you can see, it didn't transfer over. So let's just say, um, in this case, if I did negative 25, I don't think it'll look good because it's not enough space. So we'll keep it at zero here. Right, and for the mobile view, we'll just keep it at negative 25. So you just want it to be closer on top. So as a result, using having this ability to change the margin and paddings for desktop and the mobile gives you better control and make and you have now have the ability to make your uh, design much better visually. All right, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next product update.